Hey everybody, Jochen here, and today I am bringing you the next installment in my how to Discord series, and we'll be looking at how to do basic channel management. Now you'll see in my Jochen's domain Discord server, I've already added some channels over here, but I would like to add one or two more. So to add a channel, simply right click, go to create channel, and what you can do is just add the channel name, so let's call this gaming it's a text channel i want everybody to see this channel so i'm not going to set any kind of privacy on this channel and then just click on create channel now what you'll see is in the list on the left it added it just before the voice communication channels so if you want to move that anywhere simply drag and drop it to where you want it and it's as easy as that now if you go into your new channel we can edit the channel name by clicking on edit channel and in the overview section you simply go to channel name and you change that to whatever you want. Let's change that to uh, games and for all the gaming discussions. Now this channel topic that you see over here, once you save the changes at the bottom and press escape you will see that that pops up into the channel description at the top over there so it's an easy way to quickly show people what the channel is about now you will notice that on my members list over here i have added the patreon bot so people that would like to support my content they go into patreon and when they support the patreon bot automatically places them into the server but I would like to structure my channels in such a way that it separates the Patreon supporters from the general members joining my server. Now to do that, you can add a category. Simply right click anywhere, say create a category, and I will simply call this supporters. And I do want to make this a private category. Simply click on the private category button and then select which roles will be allowed to actually see this category. So from my point of view, I'm going to see the Patreon bot and then both the roles for my different levels of supporters. Create the category and now you will see the supporters category over there. Still nothing inside there. But now what we can do is we can simply drag the patrons into the supporters channel. Now this is an interesting thing. Because that voice communications had different permissions than the category I just set up, it asks you whether or not you want to sync it with that. Now, I want to keep the current permissions because of the way that I set up the Super Hero Cons, only the heroes are allowed to see that communications channel, where the patrons, both the heroes and the patrons, can see that channel. And then the future content we're going to drag into supporters as well. Now for future content, I want both of them to see so I can just sync the permissions. And what you'll notice is under permissions, you will now see Patreon bot, heroes and patrons. And for the comms, you will see only the heroes listed there. Do note that everyone is selected. But down here, I have said that everyone cannot connect where the heroes can connect. And then there's a sandbox, which I generally use for my own personal usage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another category, just call it admin. And then I will drag the sandbox down into admin. I'll sync it with the admin one, which is fine because I'm going to set up admin permissions now as well. I do not want anybody to see this admin section, only for myself. So what I'll do is I'll right click on the admin, edit the category, go to permissions and add a role or member. So I'm just going to add a member, which is myself. And then under everyone, go down to read text channels and see voice channels. Put that to negative. Save the changes. Now, from my point of view, I can see all these things, but let me show you what it looks like 
from somebody else's point of view. I have got Stealthy Raptor here. And Stealthy Raptor can see the general, the games and the tech. I cannot see the admin section here at all. And even though I can see the Super Eurocoms, I cannot join it. Now, if you, if you want them to not even be able to see the Super Eurocoms, make sure that under your supporter section, edit the category, permissions, and everyone cannot connect. And also everyone cannot view the channel. And once that is set up, you will notice that that channel has now disappeared along with the category. So for people coming in that hasn't supported, they don't even know that there is the supporters section. And for the various supporters, they will be able to see that section as well as all the various channels inside of it. I hope this has helped you in understanding a little bit more about the channel management in Discord. Feel free to reach out on my Discord server, Twitter, Steam, Facebook, Twitch and Patreon page. All of the links available in the description below. Also please like this video if it's helped you at all and subscribe to my channel for more gaming and tech guides and reviews. Thank you for watching. Yoken out.